Hello, I'm Steven here for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a special NCAA Bracket Busters breakdown of the 2013 NCAA Final, uh, the breakdown for the Final Fours and all the competition that we have going on. I'm going to be covering the South Bracket today. The South Bracket, it has a lot of good teams. You talk, talk about Kansas, talk about UNC, talk about Villanova, talk about VCU, talk about Michigan, talk about UCLA, Florida, Georgetown. This right here is the toughest bracket out of all. The South bracket is a fully loaded bracket, so we're going to have a lot of upsets in this bracket. I think simply because everybody plays everybody so early and it's so compact. I see Georgetown making it out the first round, and I see San Diego State making it out as well. I see Georgetown handling their business against San Diego State early on. I see Florida making it out the first round, and I also see UCLA doing the same. But here's where it gets tricky. Can the Florida Gators contain Muhammad and UCLA and that, that, that rocky offense? Sometimes they score a lot of points. Sometimes they don't. When they play as a team, UCLA has the abundance of weapons on offense to outscore any team in the country. But I think the Florida Gators defense is just too much and Billy Donovan down there at the Swamp they have a special recipe for defense when they get that defense and they have everybody muffled up and bottled up I think they'll do some great things against teams and I see them getting out and advancing to go ahead and take on Georgetown when Georgetown and Florida meet the most important thing can Georgetown get out on the break and not turn the ball over can they make uh, fast break points turn into easy buckets for them. When they do get turnovers, are they converting? If not, Florida Gators will eat them alive. There's too much speed and athleticism on that Florida Gators team. I just don't see Georgetown with the number two seed beating the number three Florida squad. That's my upset for this part of the bracket. Michigan. Taking on San Diego State, I think Michigan has an early victory. So does VCU have an early victory. I'm picking Michigan to beat VCU early on as they advance. And then I see UNC and Villanova. This is a very tricky part of the bracket, but I'm picking Villanova with the first round upset of UNC. You can also check out Kansas taking on Western Kansas University. I think that Kansas has their number, and I also think that Kansas will sweep right by, right past Villanova in that second round. Here's where it gets interesting, where Kansas and Michigan meet, where the rubber meets the road. I like Michigan as a team, but I love Kansas' athleticism. Bill Self is building a quality program out there. He's won a national championship out there. And when I saw them play in the Big 12 championship, the Kansas Jayhawks really excel. One thing that they did, they play individually well against uh, some of those smaller zones, and they also play great passing the ball. They have a lot of dynamics, and they also have Johnson, who is a solid point guard, and they also have a lot of wild cards out there in Kansas. I'm picking Michigan, though, to really get this upset, the number four seed over the number one seed, and advance really deep into this bracket. And then it comes down to, can Michigan beat Florida? Here's where it gets ugly, because the SEC is not known for their basketball or their defense, but Billy Donovan and the Florida Gators have what it takes to get this job done. But they will not be enough for the Michigan Wolverines who will rise again like they did in the 90s with Chris Webber and Jalen Rose and Juwan Howard. They're going back to the Final Four. I'm picking them to win this one in a very epic game. I think that when the tides turn and you look at it, they will meet, and when the rubber meets the road, they will have just enough offense and just enough defense. Tim Hardaway Jr. is just a too special of a player to be held down in this part of the bracket. They are going to make the Final Four from that part. I have them meeting Indiana in the Final Four, but also I have to look to see, can they overtake it? I think Michigan will overtake Indiana in their meeting for a third time this season. So I just think it'll be a lot of things that's going on. They know each other well, Indiana and Michigan, and I'm picking Michigan to overtake them and make it to the Final Four. And you can check me out at JustMyPicks.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. You can also check me out on YouTube, YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Thank you very much for subscribing and please comment.